Hello, so I wanted to talk about cognitive changes, cognitive changes in young and early onset Parkinson's um, because it's not really generally talked about a lot with the early young onset. I, th I think because um, there's more problems when you're older, but there's definitely also problems when you're um, younger with um, cognitive skills. So what I'm talking about mainly is executive function, and that's a specific, um, specific thing that we do with the brain, and it's one area that specifically um, we have a difficulty with. So um, I definitely notice cognitive changes, and it's not something that someone else I think would notice or the doctor necessarily notice. But um, once I did mention it, they did test me and I had slight cognitive changes. I think what happens when you're younger is that you notice it a lot more. And so it, it kind of, I know, I know it kind of bothers me um, because I'm not as sharp as I once was. So some of the things that it affects in me is my memory. I've noticed that my memory is not that great. Um, it's not that bad either. Um, the problem is that my recall is a lot slower and again it's because the brain is a muscle so and everything slowed down in my body so it's also like an area that I need to work on as far as to make it um, work. So I'm kind of rambling but what I mean is that it's also a, a muscle, so you have to exercise it. So I want to do more in that area um, this year with my cognitive skills. So one thing I also noticed is that I was using weird words. Okay, so I was talking about cognitive changes, and I don't know if he's going to show up, but I now have this dog that's my mother's dog that I'm looking after that was barking so now I'm trying to complete my video with him and we'll see if he acts up or not. He does talk a lot so he might do that and I'll have to stop again. So um, yeah I was saying that be before diagnosis of Parkinson's I noticed that I was using weird words like they would be like not the right word in a sentence, but it would be like slightly off. Um, and that's one thing that I noticed. I also noticed kind of like along the same lines that my vocabulary was getting like really, really basic. And it sort of felt like that I was getting more stupid as I got older. Um, I remember like using those words and describing it like that to my friend that I was getting, you know, that I felt like I was not as smart as I once was. So that probably did have something to do with the Parkinson's. Some other things that I noticed that I have a really hard time reading now when I had no problems with it. And I don't mean that I don't understand what I'm reading, but there's some kind of difficulty. I can only read maybe a page at a time. I think it's because I'm trying to read and understand what was written at the same time. But yeah, I can't really read books anymore. It gives me like an instant headache and I get stressed out. So instead of reading now, I um, look at it on the computer or my phone and for some reason that works a lot better. Another area I have problems with are directions and that's verbal or written directions. They get me like really confused because um, directions usually have more than one step so we want to, if, I, if there's one, more than one step that includes the executive function um, so it gets me confused because I can't I have problems like reading and thinking at the same time. And another area that I have problems would be any kind of multitasking. 
I used to be really good at multitasking, now I can't. So an example is even in this video, I'm having a really hard time um, like thinking what I want to say in this video and at the same time trying to um, hold Freddy. It's kind of like confusing me and my thoughts have slowed down significantly from the start of the video. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that. Um, so any kind of multitasking or complex task um, makes me like really confused now. And then the other thing, um, example would be like driving. I don't drive here um, where I am in Oregon, in Portland, Oregon. Um, I can take the bus easily or the train, um, but I would have difficulty driving. And I know a lot of people with Parkinson's do drive, but I would not be one of them that could drive. Hi, Freddie. Say hi, everyone. Say hi, look. And that's because um, the drive in here, you have to be really sharp. There's a lot of like bikes, um, a lot of people walk in, and for me, since I can't really multitask, um, that's like a lot of things going on all at once that I have to think about. So I have problems in that area. So anyway, those are just a couple things that I've noticed that um, I have difficulty with cognitively. So um, one suggestion that I have from the speech therapist is to always do games and puzzles and probably you know that because they recommend that a lot for the elderly population. Um, but also I figure out that making these videos will help me in that regard, um, but I also have to think of other ways to exercise um, my brain. So if you have any cognitive difficulties, please leave a message in the comment box. Let me know what difficulties you have. And uh, yeah, that's about it for today's episode. So I'll talk to you later.